Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard. Today I brought along something very awesome for you and it's called the Immersive Scope from Element. The model that I'm running today is the 14 by 50 and this has got the APR1C reticle in it. Now I've already zeroed my gun at 27 yards and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to validate my dope out at 110 yards. Now I'm shooting the Slug HP2s today from H&N at just over 1000 feet per second. This is the 25 grain slugs. They are basically hammers. Alright, so let's get going. We'll close the bolt. There is some wind from right to left. But let's see what I can do. Alright, just favor a little bit to the right. Impact. Okay. Impact. Impact. This is very, very difficult and I'll tell you why a little bit later in the video. Impact. <laughs> That's good enough for me. So, without further ado, let's get started. Smoked. This 25 grade Asian ends. They hit like a hammers. Falling down. That was so awesome to watch on the screen there, in life. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. Another one bites the dust. The scope that I'm using today is also known as a prismatic scope. The idea of this design is to replace the inner lenses with glass prisms, making the scope very compact with pristine image quality. Another great benefit to this is that you now have a very wide field of view, giving you the ability to track your target much easier. With the scope you will receive a one-piece mount and two angle adjustable base plates as well. Also included a rubber eye cup and a magnetic flip cap to protect your objective lens. Some other great features to the scope include a dialing ability up to 83 MOA and a parallax adjustment from 6 yards to infinity. This scope is also fitted with high-end ED glass and has a illuminated reticle to go with it. This model has been designed for guns with no recoil and it's a perfect match for air guns and low recoil rimfires. Oh, what a shot! 100 yards in the wind! Dead. Ah! 
Another one down. All right, so let's speak about my gun setup here quickly. This is a FX Impact Mark II, one of the older generation guns. I'm shooting the 25 grain slug HP2s from H&N today at just over 1,000 feet per second. In the front of the barrel, I've got a Tanto silencer from Donny FL to keep things quiet. And then underneath, I've got a Sabre Tactical Arc Swiss Rail, also from the older generation. At the back, I've got a GoPro camera basically connected right up against my scope because the immersive it's got zero eye relief and this makes things a little bit difficult for me the display screen is so small on the GoPro that it's impossible for me to take aim on the little screen on an animal and shoot it with confidence I've mounted a side monitor here on the side now this monitor basically blows up the image which comes from the GoPro and now I can take aim at an animal with confidence without taking chances and take it down humane but as the system sits here it works really really well and I'm liking it, and as you guys can see, it shoots lights out. Perfect shot down. Drop like a rock. Done and done. <laughs> now I want to show you something else which is new from FX and it's the version 2 pocket chronograph. Now I've got it fitted to my gun and if you don't see it it's because it's very very tiny now let me show you where it is right here in the front where my finger is now it's super super tiny and it connects basically to any peak rail system now what I've done with mine is I've got an adapter which goes from Picatinny to Arca Swiss so I can connect it basically to any kind of rail on my gun now my little pocket chronograph is connected to my FX little display screen here in the back and together they work very very good to connect it very simple you turn on the pocket program graph power button and you turn on the power button on the FX display screen and within two seconds they are connected this kind of system works very good for guys who is shooting on the bench and want to check their speed on the fly with not having any big instruments hanging off the gun I love it I basically use it on all my bench shooting guns and on a system like this when I go out in the field This is a lot of fun. I'm having so much fun with this system. Right. <laughs> Corner hole.
good. A dove had no chance, absolutely no chance. Yep. Now we came to the end of the video and I'm just gonna quickly give you my thoughts on this scope. Um, I've been using it for the last couple of days. I brought it out to the field to do some field testing on it. And uh, I can tell you this, number one, the glass quality on this immersive scope is fantastic. I know it has advantages because it has less lenses, but still the quality is really, really good. The turrets built solid. I've really cranked on those turrets a lot in the last couple of days. I took the scope off and put it on and it held is zero very, very good. I had to maybe adjust it by one click, but I mean, that is just normal. Um, otherwise, the scope is nice and compact. I think it's a perfect use for air guns. And um, if you guys are thinking of buying a scope like this, then you need to do your homework. Make sure that you buy this scope for the right specific reason for the job that you want to use it for. That's, that's my advice to you guys, and that is my feedback. With that being said, this is where I'm going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button for me. And uh, for the new guys, please remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you next time. Cheers.